Next, we're going to be working with carrots. Um, carrots is usually a lot of time overlooked as a garnish. There's many things that you can do with, with carrots. I have a couple examples that you can accomplish with just a simple carrot. When I try to use carrots for garnishing, I like to grab a big carrot. The first thing that I always do is I try to remove the skin. So you will have a nice orange surface. I just cut the bottom part off, that's not so pretty. Now at first, I want to show you how to make like a little flower. So I grab the carrot, I put my thumb at the bottom, and I cut in an angle in there, and I turn the carrot, and then I do it again. Now it's very important when you make your cuts, you make them approximately on the same height and end up at the same end. And you keep turning your carrot and go all the way around. For your last cut, just cut in again, but make sure that you don't cut into your petal, your first petal, okay? So when you're done cutting with that, what you do is you break out the center and then you have a pretty flower like that. Now, I got another tool that I used to make this flower with. Basically what it is, it is the shavings of a carrot. So I got a special pencil sharpener. This is a little bit um, larger than your mascara pencil sharpener. So what you do is you just turn your carrot in there. You know, the first little part um, I have to dispose of because it's not round yet. And then I can keep pushing and turning. This is a pretty cool tool because what will happen when you twist up your carrots, you get a flower just like that. Sometimes it looks pretty cool when you have multiple flowers on top of each other. That looks pretty neat as well. And you can keep going till you have a whole bouquet. But with those, I think you will get the picture. We can do it with zucchini and squash as well. Cut a little bit of the tips off and stick this into our pencil sharpener. First little bit will take off and make flowers just like that. Um, I'm going to do the same thing with this yellow squash. And what is neat is if you grab the shavings of your squash and zucchini to twist this together. And that will make a really cool flower. What you can even do as well is put in some of this orange and then you get like a really colorful flower. You just, you just twist all those colors together. And I have like a blackberry handy. Sometimes I like to put something in the middle. You can do it with the olive, you can do whatever you want to stick in, and that will make a pretty flower. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to slice some strips of the carrot, just like that. Square them up a little bit. Now, what I will do is I make some incisions into the carrots. And make sure that I have some room between the tip of my knife and the end of the carrot and push down like that. Then I turn this carrot and make the same incision right here. Then what you do is you twist the carrot just like that and hook the end parts together. And then you have a garnish just like that. If you grab some parsley, and stick that right in there. That green and orange looks really nice together. 